Hi, I'm Claudia Carter with the California Wheat Commission. So today I want to talk to you a little bit more about wheat quality. Um, here at the Wheat Commission, we have a quality lab um, right here in the back that I will show you sometime. And then we have to run several testing to test the quality. So for many of you, wheat quality means just protein content. Is it 10%? Is it 12%? Is it 15%? Um, here, we look at a lot deeper than that. We look at different factors. And I want to talk to you about specifically uh, comparing two samples. So we're going to be comparing two wheat varieties. So let's dig a little bit more about what do we test when we talk about wheat quality and why that is important. So let's look at two varieties that we have tested here. Joaquin Oro is a California wheat variety, and then Red 5 is a variety that it's an older variety. Um, I'm going to talk to you about first about two tests. One is called the farinograph, and then the second one is the mixograph. So we'll talk a little bit more on how that test is done later, but first I want to talk to you about the results that we see here. So in the farinograph, we get a graph that is called the phrenogram. And this, um, what we're looking at here is how long did it take the dough, the flour, when you mix it with water, that creates the dough to mix together. Um, and then that time that reaches a peak, and then from there, as it keeps mixing, how long did it take and stay in that same consistent line before it actually started breaking down and just getting very sticky, basically. So Joaquin Oro, once you reach its peak, you can see the graph stay here in this line for some time and then eventually it departed the line, the line that is here in the 500. So this sample, after we did the testing, say that uh, in order to develop the gluten or the dough, it actually took 6.7 minutes. So that's the time what we call development time. And then once it reached here, and then it remained on that line before it departed, there is a time that we calculate here that is called stability. Basically, how stable that dough it is. So the stability uh, for the Joaquin Oro, it say that it was 15.1 minutes. This sample, it had close to 12% protein content. And keep that in mind as we look at red five. So let's look at red five in the graph. So red five, as you can see in the graph, it actually reached its peak and it departed under this line pretty quick. So it mixed, it actually, um, right after it started mixing, a little bit after that, it started breaking down, started getting sticky. So we see that the development time for this sample was 4.7 minutes. And then the stability for this sample was 5.5 minutes. So now we have two samples. One that developed in almost seven minutes, and the other one that developed in five minutes. And the stability and how long did it take before it starts breaking down, this one was uh, 15 minutes versus this one that was 5.5 minutes. Sample red five had protein content of 14%. So 12% Joaquin Oro and 14% red five. So if you look at just a wheat and you have the protein content, that say 12% and the other one say 14%, a person might think, oh, the 14% is actually better quality. But looking in, internally and how the dough behaves and what we call the wheat quality based on the two proteins that are forming the gluten that are gliadins and glutenin, we can see that Joaquin Oro, even at 2% less protein content, it actually is uh, more stable during the mixing time, so what we say is a stronger wheat than what it is red five, even when red five was a 14% protein content, okay? And then here you can see the graphs, and the graphs in the mixograph are a lot easier to look, and when we look at the mixograph, we're looking at a thicker graph, such as what is here, which tells you that that flour, that dough, is actually stronger. So here we can also see that Joaquin Oro at a lower protein content has a stronger gluten, a stronger dough, and that red five, as soon as it mixed, it broke down and it, it was actually weaker. So what 
what of these two will make a nicer, bigger loaf of bread? Well, without doubts, we know that a stronger flour, stronger dough, st stronger wheat, such as wakinoro, will make a much bigger loaf of bread because the gluten um, matrix that develops in there during the fermentation process and the gas that is being released, it gets trapped in those gas bubbles and what we call a sponge. And as soon as they're expanding, it actually is able to expand and allow that expansion, but it doesn't collapse. Whereas something like bread five with a much weaker dough, weaker gluten strength is going to expand slightly but because it cannot hold those gas bibles inside tightly, it's going to collapse. So the loaf volume for Joaquin Oro is going to be much higher and much spongier, whereas the red five is going to be flat and uh, much more coarse. So that's it. That's all what I wanted to tell you today about quality and discussing about that protein content is just a number. But what we as cereal scientists and as bakers, we really care about, it's about the quality of the protein. So thank you for listening. I'm Claudia Cutter with the California Wheat Commission. Goodbye. Ciao.